Welcome back once again, my friends. This is Habage, and I'm glad to have you here for another Hardcore Vanilla Minecraft stream. I or stream recording video, you know, those things going up on YouTube. So, fortunately, not streaming it live yet, but we'll get there. Um, but I'm glad to have you back. This is hopefully the the finale, or at least of the the building part of the. Um, Darkroom spawner, and it's very fitting that we're in a create uh, welcome. So let's get our slow cooker world launched here, and uh, we're going to play it. So uh, where we left off, we had just finished up the first floor uh, of the spawner. So this will be the... Well, let's go back over... This will be the area where our first group of creatures, creepers, they're creatures, uh, begin to spawn. And they'll, uh, they'll flourish there, we hope. Uh, once we get back down here, a couple things I want to do uh, before we really go after the building from this point. Uh, I want to make extra certain that nothing that comes down here, there's no holes, no gaps, no forgotten blocks, anything like that. This is totally secure, and we did throw a bunch more torches down to hopefully uh, limit any other appearances while we're down here. Now, we'll need all the rest of this stuff, so no problems there. And we might as well fill our pockets with... Wow. Uh, so that's the difference of being uh, right on top of your cookers. Oh, this probably won't get us done, but... Uh, come on. In you go might be enough to let us carry everything back upstairs. Alright, and... Ooh, we're still cooking over here. Not too much left, but... Plenty more. Alright, let's uh, just load up as much as we can. One too many, because we got to carry them. Oh, no, we don't. We have another. No. Did we leave one up there? Uh, I think we did. Best to get all this out of the way, though, right? Then we can be... Uh, yeah, there we go. All right. So... Extra reds. Now we need to pull a bunch back. And... All that. Oh, one too many. Well, I didn't dump the partial, but whatever. Okay, so... We are now up to continuing our pattern. And we need to go up two, two high before, actually three, before we start refilling the uh, area. And we're going to leave this as a gap um, for continued access on this floor because we need to do a bunch more trapdoors. And we had long suspected this might have been an issue. Um, so, four across now, and we continue that, oh, don't, don't fall in, alright, let's just get out of harm's way here, you go there, you go here, alright, red, red, wine, Bum, 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 bum. F 
four, two, one, two, three more here, one, one, two, uh, that's two. We gotta <laughs> gotta keep track of where we're at on that. The rest of the pattern should remind us, but that's a good way to check on the rest of the pattern too. Right, three, one, 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 four, one. So not, not too awful, it's just a little tedious and you want to make sure you're not, uh, not at risk of taking a tumble. There. Gap. Okay, and that's that's our edge of this one. Without rushing, let's just prepare our bed here. Uh, one other thing that we should do is drop just a couple of torches on a left one. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do there. Three in. I like to just go with the threes. Three. 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 We'll try to remember to set one when we wake up in the morning for here. There. Okay, now those should all be... They're going to help us with our light. It's never going to be fully enclosed, so we should be fairly decent. But we uh, want to try to be careful, obviously. So, let's maybe do like this, leave all the others, there. can't get in and out once we cap that. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's focus. Now. Every corner. Wait, what did I do here? Oh, this is a mistake. Got too confident at the end. There. Here they remain the same, and this is three. And 
we go there. Here. Here and here. There. 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 Here. Alright. Think that's right. Okay, now those will get reversed on the next one, and then we just begin closing up the pattern. But now we uh, now we get to fill, <laughs> and uh, that is uh, is a bit of fun in and of itself. Let's just let's just. Pr oh wait, did I already goofed up? Maybe this is. Maybe this is a mistake. Let's start. Let's do just what we did. It worked, right? There, there. There, there. White. White. There. There. These are actually pretty decent because they're all all identical. That's the middle. Okay. That one. That one. Here, there, and everywhere. Now, uh, this. One, oh, because we put that one in. Let's take that out. It helped us. But then let's go over to here. Close out. All right. Everything else left is the alternating. Down. Parkour action. Close one. Middle hop. Far one. Middle hop. Middle one. Red, red, red. Okay, so it's beginning to to come back through now. We'll uh, we'll seal these up. This next one will be a pretty white intensive uh, pattern. But before we do that, we gotta hide it all because now we're back into dirt mode, and we can start from here.
and one, two, three. stack here oh it's going so good has to be has to be trouble we'll leave it as a hole hope it doesn't fall off the edge all right we got uh, two there good number of trapdoors though so we can at least do all these and being able to get these done without the stupid uh, half slabs is going to be huge help. But now, once we have these up, we have a new massive project. Um, and we can just drop in here. Um, we need to put a trapdoor on the top of each and every one of these fine little spaces. And that's the fun of popping up on top of... They don't have to look pretty. It, you, all we're doing here is taking a two-block spawnable height, so that's anything that doesn't have these half slabs, where zombies or skeletons need two blocks of clearance uh, to spawn, creepers only require like one and three quarters or something. I don't know what, it, what the exact is, but they are shorter than the other mobs. So by blocking these down, we get a little bit of a a buffer. Unfortunately, that takes a full stack for everything that you uh, you're gonna set up. And uh, don't miss <laughs> on your jumps. So there we go. That's uh, I still got eight. I should be. Oh. nothing spawned on those upper levels without any any torches up there. Okay, so now we gotta go resupply a bit for a number of things. Um, we're too full <laughs> on some of these others. Let's back off on those. Whoa! Not what I was clicking on. Back off on these. Just a bit. We'll, yeah, we'll be back to it, but we... We need... Lots more of these. Um, we do two? Let's push for three. Too greedy. What to uh, put these partials back? All right, now you
That should get us through the uh, the ceilings here, and then the next next side of the traps. And in all honesty, we should even do the half slaps after this. <laughs> it's just such a such a chore to try to deal with. It's all about your order of work. Yeah, if you plan your work, then you're, uh, you're intended. But it's it's one of those things I can't I can't remember how you know couldn't even come up with a number of how many times I've I've built similar uh, layouts. But it's so infrequent that it you know it's it's like old friend or something, you know, you, you got to kind of reacquaint yourself with it before you can, uh, can really feel comfortable. So, for being a one block jump, those just terrify me. Oh, I didn't get dirt. That one, not so much. All right. More dirt. Probably too much. A little little wiggle room. Back out here. Out there. I like those little half slabs. Worth double checking on all that. Ugh. Colors. Uh, this color scheme, different than a lot of the ones I've done. Very nice having that edge distinctive with colors like that while you're working. That is a bonus. Okay, so I think we're going to do traps so then we can can jump that one and be clear as we go out and I mean we made endless amounts of trap doors and they're almost all gone which that's why we made them you know that's why we cut a lot of trees and yeah we should have extras hopefully we have extra at everything uh, honestly the uh The um, oh man, I can't think of the the clay stuff. <laughs> Why can't I think of the word? You know the clay stuff. Terracotta. That's what it is. And here we come. Like taconite? No, that's iron mining. Um. Orientation doesn't doesn't matter at all in these. Just get them up there, whatever, whatever works for you. And I think it, you know if you're really tight, I think you're okay if you if you leave them on these. I don't think they have enough room to spawn on those, regardless. But uh, again, I'd I'd kind of always rather just be careful. Um, the rest of those we can do from the top. I'm not too worried there. More stack of dirt here. Dodge the halves <laughs> that I then come back around to stand on. Alright, 
probably should have hit those before we uh, before we wrapped up. Can I get them from the top, though? If I will, I'll just eliminate any possible need to... White. Oh, it's awful. Oh, come on, get through. All right, well, once more around the tool. It didn't feel safe, all right. I guess it is a relief knowing that we've fallen from greater heights and, and not had it, but it's still a pain. If we get stuck down there, then we gotta, like, break our way out. Who knows what mobs could just be waiting at the bottom of that pit, even though they're, we're not set up to spawn up here right now. We, uh... Could be in trouble. Okay, so let's look while we're in here. We still need to do traps on there. We can't forget, obviously, but that's an easy thing. Oh, yeah, we're all done. Great. Um, anything that's not complete, you want to make note of. Okay, last jump. We don't need a big running leap. We just need to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so hard to. You're standing out there, you gotta walk, jump across one block. We do it all the time in construction, but uh, it gets scary when you could fall down. And I have fallen, you know, you gotta go over, you gotta throw a block in, break your water, step your way out. It's not fun, but it's not, it's not death, necessarily. Okay, one more full stack of these. Let's get the outer edge now that we don't have a nice little deck of safety area and then just try to wind our way through here oh that's good Not good. No longer good. Okay, and then just to make sure we're doing two white blocks to seal this in. We still have torches, we know that, but they should all be in the, the right spots that we can get them. So then we go up and we hope that there's no creepers up here before we can sleep. Now the ironic part is... Isn't that ironic, don't you think? You're making a dark room spawner, and... Um, as you do, it's kind of like constant terror that anything may spawn, and... Uh, cause you trouble, as... As you're getting set up. But then when you break all these torches, you find that very few mobs will spawn while you're continuing to work. Even when you've got layers and layers, the sun just coming down through the gaps is, uh, is enough to keep them... Get the torch. Can't crack.
couch. And, you know, as you're going, just peek back through. Make sure that all those little holes are nice and dark. You don't have extra bright spots in the back corners where they shouldn't be bright. I guess, I guess the positioning there <laughs> kind of matters. Not really. But uh, best to be consistent. All right, this one has more. Am I seeing? Is that float? Okay, that's floating. All right, I'm seeing just a little, little tiny bit. I don't know what you guys are watching on, but uh, just like the the broken torch sitting on the ground over there was enough to make me wonder. Alright. That should be everything. I hope. So, now... We can finish up our trapdoors here first. And I think we will uh, we'll leave off the half slabbing until the very end. Yeah, crouching is pretty silly here, but if you get erratic as you're trying to line these up and focused on the other stuff, it's nice not to go into the water. And now, now that those floors are dark, um, you could have one or two creepers back in the back corner, and uh, all they need is a line of sight. So, we are back in business. Now we want to kind of orange and white our way back around um, maybe white to start just because there's a bunch of it oh we will need the terracottas for those man there There. 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 And there. All right. Now... So these are done. How was that? Yeah, that was four. We stopped counting. I was like, man, we better be <laughs> we better be wrapping up here, otherwise we're in trouble. Alright, we got full sacks of red and yellow. Those can all combine. Red, red, yellow, orange, orange. I know it's not orange. It's red too. It's just a different kind of red. Red. Now it's back to now I'm back to calling it red. Just like that. Alright, so second to the last course of these yellows. They'll be done. Red. Yellow. Red. 
Boom. Very good. Now, we go and white. These all become red. White. Last course of yellow. White. Whole bunch of red. Whole bunch of red. Red. That's on the whole bunches. Two whole bunches. White. Red, red, yellow. White. Bunches. 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 Last yellow. Bunches. Bunches. Oh, at least <laughs> at least those two stacks played out very evenly. Last yellow. Last, last yellow. All right. So now we are up to our cap everything in white layer and then fill with dirt. And that will uh, let us set up the rest of this stuff. We should then have an extra red to go over the top. That'll be a nice little edge. And we'll hide as we uh, fill in and gap in um, uh, some of our emergency procedures up top. But this one is, is just to close out all of this white ring. And then we'll do one more red as we did on the bottom. So... Uh, except for the the red on the stripes that goes up all the way to the uh, the orange because these again are the the eights they just ran parallel to the reds so hopefully that all makes sense to everybody we'll go around this way Ooh. <laughs> that was about the closest we came to the edge. All red. Red. Other red. You know, the orange red. Real red. It's going to get a little dark. No, no, not the orange red. Come on, we got to get back to get to bed. You can do it. Red. Real reds. Now we can jump in here. Quick throw down the bed. And we sleepy sleep. Okay, now do we have, we got four stacks of dirt? That's good. Uh, we can do these again from down here. I don't know we're trying to make this difficult. Uh, let's go around so we can finish where we started.
Okay. That's our exit over there. Okay, two down. Why is that so... Oh, because I had a off stack, didn't I? Well, I just have to be extra careful that everything's still right. Okay. Yay! All right. Um, slabs again. Start with two and see how we go. This one of those where we don't really, <laughs> really want to end up with a zillion extra trap doors that we don't have a current use for. I mean, they're not bad, but we are still way short. What will this do for us? Nothing else. I don't want to have to break a whole nother. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but. Nope. Spot. Hey, look at that. Yeah, whatever. We'll uh, <laughs> we'll leave a spot. Um, I don't think we need. We'll just put it over a, a half slab spot, and it'll be fine. Um, so I think let's do the same. Really freaks me out when it just jumps me like that without actually showing me jump. That's uh, that's not cool, game. Okay. So again, every single piece of dirt here gets a slab, but this should be much quicker because we don't have the tabs underneath us throwing us off.
One down. Intense. <laughs> not, not really. What, uh, what can we talk about in the midst of just slathering on a bunch of slabs? Um, or trapdoors. Sorry. I keep thinking about the stupid slabs as the problem. So off. Usually I do pretty well at the threes. Um, whatever. Now, if I was smart at all, <laughs> you put down the half slabs as you go. I'm like, oh, I'm thinking about the half slabs all the time. Yeah, sure. And, uh, needing nine per, you can at least do all of these. Oh, no! Uh, that's what we didn't want to do. All right, here's, here's kind of the, down thinking about too many slabs oh is this we were trying to leap back I think this is the way out oh because those were still open okay this yeah All right. not, oh, oh, not, a, not a full disaster yet Seal that back up. Alright, we need... Fifty-two. Uh, we need... Thirty-six, so we're, we're good there, I think. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go back up and see if we can finish this deal. Um, yeah. Here. Here. Now I'm like, don't mess up. I just went back to Minecraft like four years ago for myself. Go oh, very slow. No! What? Oh, now it's getting dark. Oh, and if I don't have blocks. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that was awful. Um. Okay, we got enough time. These are not the blocks I really want to, uh leave down there. <gasps> now, how did I make that? I had no business making that. Okay, those are all done. Oh, boy. Um, how am I out of... Just keep those blocks in hand. Oh. Why can I not make those jumps? They're not tough, but it's like something knocking me on the head. Oh, because I haven't done the slabs, right? Oh. 
But I don't have slabs up here, right? Alright, well, I guess I got a safer way. Um... I also got to make sure I removed these blocks. Did I remove the blocks? From the water channel. I don't know how I can be so bad at, uh, at jumping like that. That doesn't seem right. Twice? I mean, once, sure. But it's like, um, it's kind of like that run jump, except I'm not even, uh, not even coming close to getting. Why? What's going on? I mean, that works every time, though. I go to. Just do this. How about this? Huh? You're all done. You're all done. You guys I'll pick up in a minute. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean there's nothing up there. Why? Why? Something. Once more. It's just a one block jump. What? Come on! Why won't it let me jump off of stupid blocks? Oh, now I got it. <sighs> this is just, just silly. Oh, now you're not going to let me even pillar? Thanks, blocks. I've still got to go all around these. Oh, man. really don't understand. I'm terrified now. Uh, but I gotta go... I gotta go get all these, so we may have to do that like 80 more times. Uh, <laughs> not that many, but what... what in the heck? Alright, I still got an extra stack. Uh, the slabs... done. Okay, so it's a block. You, can, you can't you can jump there. Maybe it's just I'm always trying to jump early. But that seems... Seems excessive, but alright, we'll go. This is crazy. I'm doing it to, like, challenge it, that... If you won't jump, you're you gonna make me go the full plunge, and I don't want to go the full plunge. Maybe that's a really stupid idea, honestly. Oh, and I closed up the, <laughs> the side I still have to go over. Good. I mean, it's nothing, right? <laughs> I'm getting full, like, shoulder movement into it now. No chance. Whew. 
It's like skipping over a little stream. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever been, you know, go on a hike and you get to like a little mountain stream, right? And it's nothing. It, it's like two feet across. And, and, you know, yeah, you don't want, <laughs> it's purely because you don't want to get your feet all wet. You've been hiking all day. You're like, no, 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 we're, we're dry. We're done. Um, no, oh, not, not dry, not done. We still have the last great Of course I did all those now before I <sighs> really Oh, creepers, you better be pouring out of here. I mean, just literally a sea of creepers. With no, no fall damage deaths. I mean, even the, the extra ones aren't... Even if they took fall damage falling into the water, they wouldn't... Okay. Almost done. I don't think that uh, that iced tea is the drink for me, or maybe it should be coffee all the time. I like the coffee in the morning, but uh, I don't see any of this stuff. All right, now final peek around. We didn't put any torches there. We don't see any obvious ones down here, so we're. Uh, We're feeling kind of confident that uh, got everything in up to the top. Oh, we may have to. Well, we got to go down anyway, right? We got to. <laughs> what on earth have I been doing? Okay. Let's go all the way back down because I want to get a look at that bottom edge and just make sure we're still good. Plus, we got all that stuff in chests. So, yeah, even even on the edge here, uh, that, one, that one covers up. And that uh, should be nice and replicated. Now, in all honesty, this is this is where my builds usually go, and we don't have enough resources to do this all the way. But should we build it as if? Now, I think if we if we switch it, if we add more levels, if it's just not doing anything uh, compared to my old builds, then we'll. Uh, Switch up. Let's just make sure these aren't down here right now. Yeah. That would have been... Ultimate brain melt. Really? So, in, uh, in any others, that's what I was just thinking. Is you know we're we're now set. We run a, a red sandstone ring around the outer edge, and we are cooking. All good. Um. This is so short with two levels from anything that I've done that I don't know how we'll compare, but I'd kind of even been thinking as I was laying out the deals, oh yeah, the 
the things have to be set up because they're going to mirror the whole thing. Like this would go up the next um, the next levels out would be the horizontals uh, to represent the trenches, and you'd make a cube uh, rather than a. Let's go. I really would like to get this set up before uh, before we lose the light. Oh, the rain! That rain just scared the Jesus out of me. Oh. Okay. Um. Now we got a torch for the time being. Uh, eventually, I'd like to slab all the dirt so that. It can't spawn. But right now you can see even the just having the torches out kind of makes it pretty light down there. And that's coming through the glass and everything, so we now cover glass with a layer of dirt and by the time we in mean, night alone it's kind of one thing but see how much darker it's getting over in that gap than it is over here so this should seal it now dirt I always am a little leery of uh, just single layering it should do it but I kind of sometimes feel like you get a little bleed through on the light and for that reason I really don't like using what's going on here oh these just were extras right and the covering will reappear yeah I don't want I don't want any inconsistencies So now, hopefully, see how dark all that backside looks. And unfortunately, I don't see any of our friends yet. Come on, friends. Sometimes I like to do this, though, just to make sure everything is good. Wow. see if uh, we start getting the business so you can see all, all the way down there is our light oh you know what it is it's that I'm I'm here uh, and I don't have enough layers to where the bottom is uh, picking me up now I gotta be kind of conscious of yeah, that's the, the 24 blocks in reverse. I only have two layers. So usually, you know, if I've got like four layers down, then you can start seeing the mobs coming off the bottom. And they'll, they'll drop in all happily and everything's all good. Um, 
here they don't have that chance because we're um, we're too close. Whew. All right. So this is all covered in dirt. The reason I do that is I want to be able to, if disaster happens, something goes haywire down below, and this is still pouring mobs, I want to be able to get up to the top and deal with the situation top down. And the off switch for this is to clear off this dirt from the glass chambers. That way you can start letting light in if you wait till day. Uh, come back up. We won't have this um, scaffold, but we'll have resources where we can just go out from our elevator base and, uh, and you know, three stacks of, uh, of scaffold up and then a dirt bridge across, and we're here to drop down on top and uh, deal with the situation. For a moment, we'll leave kind of everything as is. Let's go down and at least sleep under our much elevated roof where it's not raining. All right? And we can see if we start to get in business. Oh, now I see where you're coming from. You little sneaks. I almost just tried to cut that whole corner. I think are all okay. Oh, maybe up on top of the chests? Don't know. So, now we have a bed? Bed in the rain? All wet? bed on top of a did I put the bed in somewhere? Did I leave the bed in? How could I have checked? I mean, it was kind of orange. That was a bad color scheme. But I don't think the bed's up here, is it? Oh, man. So now there's creepers like chilling and sleeping in my old bed. Uh, any idea where the bed could be? I don't even want it back, but I'd kind of like to break it to uh, uh, hang on one second, guys. Gotta step away.
Sorry about that, guys. A call from a friend who moved to Hawaii and just saying, hey, yeah, sorry, I got to, uh, got to call you back in a couple minutes. Um, took a bit, but I, uh, I didn't, you know, friends you see every day and stuff, and that's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll call them back after I'm done, but, uh, yeah, friends that live a long way away. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able. Oh man, and all these dumb trap. No, I'm not peeking through trap doors. It's a bed. Oh, we spent the whole night trying to deal with dumb stuff. Anyway, how did I lose my freaking bed? And. Why, when we were down there, wasn't this thing already starting to pump out creepers? And was that just the startup time? <sighs> At least we got the uh, top of the portal lit up. How did I lose my bed? Oh, maybe did I, like, drop it? Did I have it in here in, like, in a panicking flail? Creepers! What's up, guys? Come on, beds. You guys seen a bed come past your heads? Nope. Well, that is a shame. All right. Uh, I don't know what to do with any of this kind of stuff yet. We have two. Two mighty creepers. And no bed. Oop. Three. Three mighty creepers. It does take it a while to get going. That's one part of it. And every time I go up here, it's going to slow it down. Uh, that's not the best plan. Go back in so we can get lined up. I do like that pattern, though. That looks pretty good. It's just going to be so short. I'm not, not used to these flat-topped ones. Um... See, this is the crazy, crazy part. Slabs? We do that much, and we've already got almost enough to do the whole darn thing. Um, didn't I have two extras somewhere? Oh, I guess I got two orange slabs. Now, I don't know if this makes a lick of difference, but... I prefer to have it dark anyway. And this way, we don't need to worry about the... Ooh, maybe we do some white and, uh, and orange around there. I don't know if you can make terracotta half slabs. Kind of doubt it. <laughs> if you can't cook it in a blast furnace, then what are the odds? All right. So at least this should. Uh, decrease any possible spawns. And we could do, you know, we could do, like, carpet or something over the dirt. If we really wanted to. I'll just, like, have a no question, no doubt. This is what I have to move to turn this thing off if that becomes a necessity.
So this may just be delaying the inevitable, but uh, the inevitable awesomeness. Man, are they slow to get. And if that bed, I swear, if that like pins off a whole corner on one of the floors. It's almost, almost worth tearing up the whole, whole thing and starting over, but... This was the partial. Oh, no. That went quick. Um, Alright, well, here's the magic red sandstone. Now... I think we leave it. I think, you know, even if there's... Torchlight or some span spawning, there's not a ton of it up here. We, we may come right back up, frankly. Is that another stack? Oh, some slabs. Not even a stack. Just like of that. We get planks out of it. can even uh, pretty up those random orange ones. Oh. <laughs> those are stone, not wood. Hey, the rain stopped. Now, unfortunately, like, sometimes if you're working up here, you can just rely on, you know, Zombie moans or skeleton rattles, and it'll kind of tell you. But the creepers being creepy, uh, kind of tough to hear them if you're just wondering if they'll fall. You know, it would have been nicer is if that phone call had come just at the point when I was waiting to. Uh, Waiting to see if we could load it up. That is, this is going to be one of the worst kind of, you know. Man, if I was streaming this way, it would be fun. You know, people would be, it's not going to work, it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Building up the hype. Um, no, I just got to sit, and I know for you guys, that's not a lot of fun. Just waiting, but hopefully, hopefully, I mean, three, <laughs> that's not really proof of concept here. Okay, so all that's good. Um, our edges, man, I don't like these torches, but I do kind of think it's worthwhile to have a few... Scattered around. They don't have to be perfect or anything, but one kind of each segment and the corners. And at least until we have a reference back, a reference, a resource to, or enough resources to. You know, do a full slab row around the top. I'm not, uh. Not too wild. Alright, let's hope that everything's gonna be right. Let's, uh. least pattern these a little better. I, think, I don't know. Stuff like come up here, I'd rather... Oh, yeah, we got a... Another block here. The 
moon's already coming back up. I believe it. We're already one night from phantoms. And I got nothing. That's oh, right. We're standing right next to it again. Come on, guys. Start the sizzle plop that I love to hate. I'm going to stand way over here and sort some boxes. Oh, there's one. Two. Oh, we don't need that. Go back over here. Slabs and stuff can definitely go in. White. I don't get clothes on the red, didn't we? The red uh, terracotta, that is. Alright, planks. We're going to leave a bunch of those here. Dirt can go back in the dirt box. We'll just take that back. There's no reason to clown. And I think with all those planks, we're probably good on logs. So let's uh, let's put that in a way. Man, oh man, I can't believe I'm rolling no bed. What? what got into me? Well. They're starting to starting to get a bit interesting. I guess we'll use. I mean, for now, it doesn't even matter. We can just use that. We'll just bundle up some uh, now. This is the real real question: is do more stacks? help and if they do we're gonna have a lot of un unmake work to uh to get it going but uh here and this is I'm no expert here but my understanding is E is the visible compared to the total entities. And that's what we're going to have to see. So E, I'm sorry. So look from the upper left. I don't know. I'm not pointing, right? You can't see it on the screen. So uh, in the upper left, Minecraft 116.5, 58, 59 frames per second, integrated server, blah, blah, blah. C, skip that line. The next one down is the 831. And 932. Uh, I don't know what's what's going on. This is where I kind of lose uh, some of it. But see how now we're down to 17. Uh, when I look back up, it's 8. And now we're 17 again. So... Oh, and what's... That's where they all are. They're stuck on the dang water. So E should tell you how many of your entities are within the visible screen. Well, now they're dropping down. So maybe it is just a matter of, like, a number in the water to push the others through. Maybe you gotta let that build up. Oh, look at how many there are. Now, is that picking up and doubling up the trap and the the deal? But this overall number of 37, that's not going up quick enough. I tell you, um, we're expecting much bigger. Oh, 
you. Rude. 23 and 28. So pretty balanced on the output, and three of them landed in my pocket. Now that brings us right back up. So, I mean, maybe we just have a lower threshold? I don't know. And again, this is not... This, for me, it, it, we've got some work to do still up here. Um, all of this gets built up, you know, and enclosed and look nice. Uh, we're not not going to mess around up here. Uh, this is just just bare bones. So we got a lot of that stuff to do. Um, if we have any, I don't think we have anything else really that we need to cook at the moment, but you know, if we need to build, make some glass or anything. Um, all these are sitting. Well, this one should have finished up. So that was a good, that was a good move out of all this. It was pulling that back across. I'm just not sure if we don't need to uh well we'll see. That seemed to fill up. Maybe I'm just waiting too long on a max and uh it should be content to clear it a little more quickly. I don't know if there's... I've never done exclusively creepers like this before. Um, so I don't know if they have a, you know, max number of creepers in an area type deal either. That may be something. Uh, you know, I've seen the, the just crazy creeper farms. Um, still, having having watched some of them uh, end up being created, the actual farm part, just no idea. Um... You know, maybe, maybe we would have done well if we were setting this up as dark rooms to throw a bunch of, uh, bunch of tamed cats in the corners. If we name tag them, they would never despawn. I guess if we ever end up feeling that we need to expand, and this is uh, this is warming up now. It's uh, it's starting to do okay. Um, I think all this stuff we're going to store here. Um, there's more back at the Badlands, and I don't have storage for it already set up uh, at home. Uh, here, go ahead and leave all the scaffolding that we have. Again, we want we want three down low, so we don't have to we don't have to you know. You can quickly find that everything you have up here is compromised, and you're not getting it back. It's uh, it's gone, gone, um, pretty quick, and that can be a a bummer. Uh, some dirt is good for patching. All right, I don't hear enough plops. That means maybe you guys are full. I mean, can't be, but. Anybody really notice what level we were at? We'd done quite a bit of... Uh, enchanting on the shovel. Out those off out of this little box. This is the dirt. That's gone. These are gone. I think I'll bring those back because I, I, you know, this is spares. And again, we'll probably move a, you know, a stack of everything down. To where it can be accessible. All right. You're still full, you're still full, you're still full. Ooh, you're in the wrong spot. 
spot. It's one problem. Those two that got cleared. All right. So those will be great for the base. I mean, now we've got got lots of stuff. Remember, we got a huge tower marked out that we got to get started on at some point. Um, just random junk. The logs will be great. Uh, just having all that wood. Um, all right, let's. Uh, See how we can do at just wrapping stuff up and see if we get a big change in the day here. I should also check the time of the episode. Cause it's kinda it's kinda novel when you're first playing with it, but uh quickly loses. Unless I don't understand something about creepers, I I think I'm definitely on team. Don't stop at two layers. Keep going. Um, and I think you know we could take this whole bottom pattern and build that up to the top and have. Uh, ultimately more I, I i don't think it i don't think there's anything broken i just i don't know how many creepers can spawn around each other and i don't know that those upper floors would be real efficient but certainly when i got uh zombies and and skellies and stuff mixed in I, there's a lot more mobs jammed into this bottom regularly than what we're seeing right now. I mean, it's still it's still going. They're dropping okay, but not blowing me away. But here's here's where things kind of become. Oh, is it not a perfect XP farm? Well, that's too bad because we got Enderman out in the end that we can go whack with our sword, and yeah, we just got. Uh, you know, piles and piles and piles of rockets or TNT. And we've been here for just remnants of of our uh, our time. So, yeah, it's not uh, it's not perfect. If I was starting this world and needed that for all our enchanting. Yeah, this might be a different story altogether. And we still may keep it. We may we may still set up enchanting out here, but with the uh once we set up the the nether portal, uh you know, we can just bounce to the end, load up a bunch of XP, come back here, run through a bunch of books, you know, if we're looking for the one-offs, the ones that we don't have for sale and need just one of anyway, come back here, spin the books, get those for, you know, get those as we need them then clean up all the the endermen that have gathered while we've been uh working with our xp that we already had that'll keep us nicely going keep our gunpowder tip top and uh and come back through and this is this is how i usually feel you know honestly whenever i have a dark room spawner i'm like man this should be so much better and it ends up being fine but again, it no no pretenses here. Darkroom spawners work best if you're going to have any kind of AFK time at all. Uh, you know whether that's uh, leaving the game running while you go eat dinner, or uh, or you know if you are are just. <sighs> watching a show and you know getting sucked in or it's football and you want something to do during commercials uh, you know or any sport right you're you're watching something with commercials and you're like man i hate commercials i hate being distracted well watch what's watch the live action and 
don't pay attention to your game. Just, you know, stand over in the corner. This will fill up. When you get to commercials, you clear everything out, and uh, then you let it reset again while you're watching TV. You know, it's that that kind of a system, so it's going to be frustrating and not ideal uh, in our scenario. But that's almost got our shovel back. We can certainly... Oh, I keep saying 138. Got loads of time. Let's see if we can get our... Oh, the bed is going to be the next thing. Man, we need... Wait, I have another bed in the yellow box, right? I know I have an emergency bed. It's crazy. How do I not have an emergency bed in here either? Oh, because I left it at the cabin, the Badlands house. This is stupid. We're going to be sitting here whacking phantoms all night. Uh, sheep. Wherever you are, way over this way. Coming, sheep. You guys are going to get shorn. Actually, I think we've got like 15 wall just sitting around, but... We need beds. Lots of them. But now I don't want to leave and I have to have it restart again, you know? What's what's a night without a good good phantom fight, right? Whenever you want them, you only get like two of the first night anyway, so now these are what we had between our bed, and again this is this is kind of new ground because usually I have more of a mixed bag. Even if I have a couple dedicated creeper floors. Frankly, it's all the trapdoors. <laughs> Just drive me crazy. I'm like, no, no, no. I, I'm really seeing the value. I mean, the, the parts that are working are fantastic. There's no other mobs. We are 100% creeper. And it's pretty regular. And we may still... Now, well, it's keeping low on that entity list. That's weird. I don't know. Don't know what's getting into them. Um, we had talked about, do I want light? I think that'll get, that'll get built in okay, and we'll actually end up being all right. <laughs> the bubble, I was like, what's the bubbling noise? Um, so I think we'll be all right there. Um, if we're just killing time, let's kind of start... Mapping out how we want our corners. I'm kind of thinking. What does that do for our sides? If we go three in. Three in the middle. That's pretty good. Three in there. All right, we're lined up. That's on the orange. Then we go two, because that's an inner edge, right? Three in. These should all be the same. In theory. Just how many of them did we... Now, here's a wild card. Let's go get this one. Three in. Three in, three in, three in, two in. Chop. Ooh, that was a good one. And, yeah, some, some are probably just frustrating. Your sword doesn't reach all the way across. Yeah, I know. But it, it gives much bigger spawn area upstairs, I think. And I just like the, the odd number, having a dead center of it for the pattern and everything. 
Um, I just, I think that works pretty darn well. Um, and you're waiting for recharge anyway, so you might as well uh, let them spawn up. So, this is, uh, I think this is pretty good for this outer edge, so... I'm just, uh, oh, what do we have here? Hold on. We'll start digging everything back out again. Smoother red, smoother red, smoother red. One, two. I love, those look like, uh, like wakes, you know, like ships have been. <laughs> been out in the ocean absolutely top notch awesome stuff love it all right come on two three uh that might have been a mistake now can i get well i guess it doesn't matter too much we can just go from the bottom and get everything up right one more there. One more there. Oh, here we go. We're going to get phantoms while I'm up here running around, unlit, unglassed. I'll say the phantoms kind of motivated me to get this started. <laughs> this is does just make a makes a phantom crash pad that they uh, they can't negotiate very well. And we'll we'll seal it up so we can we can stay up here without having to sleep at all because sleeping is kind of counter counter to what we're trying to do. Fair start. That's a weird sound. <laughs> I don't know what uh, who, what we're you know, are they just is that just them walking and shuffling? They've never felt carpet on their creeper toes and have decided that that's why they don't want to blow up. Like, oh, this feels good. So funny. Die the original Die Hard movie. Certainly a classic. I think many people have seen it, if not just for the uh, Christmas memes and for all the other wonderful uh, kind of 80s action now, but uh, it was certainly a favorite as I was growing up. And I, I don't know why, but the whole fists with your toes thing, that has stuck with me so long. And I, I, I love flying. I don't have any, you know, it's not like, oh, that's the answer. But it totally works. If you're, if you're, uh, you know, just stressed about anything, if you get into a place with some nice carpet and don't do it with sweaty feet, right? That's gross. But, uh. You know, get out of the shower or something and just ball those toes up on your feet. <laughs> it uh, it does wonders, man. It's like a mini, mini vacation just with your feet. All right, so we're... Uh, in there. And this will uh, certainly prove useful as we're cooking sand because we're now going to go through a ton of glass. So maybe that'll. I don't know what else we can find to do up here <laughs> while we're hanging out. But. Uh, 
at least we've got creepers and sand that we would be waiting on. Um, and we'll have the, the cook stoves back home. So if we're working on building and stuff back there, um, we can, you know, maximize our efforts, but we will, uh, definitely glass up this, this whole space will get, uh, get the glass treatment. And once we're, uh, once we're set up up there, then Then we can definitely do slabs uh, on that top ring to keep that from happening. And it won't matter too much because we'll we'll have a good oh shovel's done. By the way, where were you guys on that? Tell me about my shovel. So we were back to here. I don't want to get overly caught up in this. Um, yeah, that, I mean that works. We got we got views from all angles. Uh, how do we how do we decide here? I guess it's the inner that you would cheat to because you want to see more out and about. So let's try to balance all these. This one. Hey, what happened? I didn't tell you guys you could go on break. those into the corner and then we're back on to our three one two and then we can just lose this one right yeah let's do that that seems better Like I said, I built built a lot of this style, but uh, everyone just, yeah, all right, how about we do it this way this time? And it's kind of the way I like it. I don't like seeing how they emerge. I mean, it's all this this general shape and, uh, and kind of the top deck uh, being built up. But even this is an innovation because it used to be that I would water elevator and then do another water elevator up to the upper level for the platform. But you never use it and it ends up just looking, you know, you got this double clunky thing. Sometimes it kind of feels like you should put like some kind of a counterweight looking thing because this, is, this would be so top heavy on this tower. And there was one world where I had started trying to um, kind of make a dog bone shape for uh, for darkroom spawner where I did all this right taller but but did that on one side and then I was gonna seem distance from the elevator side on the other um, but I really don't know. And the thought was, if I'm standing in the middle, they're both charging up. And while 
I'm waiting for one to finish. Or, you know, while I'm clearing one out, the other one is loading up. And they, you know, they kind of keep keep that need for AFK to a minimum because you just you keep bouncing back and forth. Well, I lost that world like so many, so many worlds before I really had the chance to get a feel for whether it was going to go. Um, it was gone. So that was, that was a shame. Now, um, that keeps us real consistent. Very strange, but it played out right. No idea on that. I just, uh, now if we did a three there, and then a three there, I think we just go with a four. Don't all have to be consistent. All right. Well, that's. is almost done. So I think it's not real windy up here. I think... Next step is to... begin our ceilinging and I'm starting it here because I think this is our biggest threat of mobs dropping on our heads I don't know mobs can spawn specifically on um, chests but it wouldn't surprise me if they could, and I'd rather not find out the hard way. Also, this is uh, this is the least covered, so most accessible from the phantoms that are sure to be coming soon. Just kind of see how far we get with the glass blocks we have. We uh, we may have more back at the lodge too when we go looking for beds. Uh, we can stock up. I suppose I should check the time again. It's going to end up being long after we were doing pretty well. But I like uh, I like getting enough out there that you guys can kind of see what's coming okay you, you two are way too opposite-y for me uh, did I have any more I do have some more glass in the pink <laughs> that's not the pink chest not much but hey every little bit right and love the silk touch for glass. So I don't think this will quite get us to even all the way across, but... Uh, not a bad start. Good old start to a ceiling. We'll fill all that with this. In fact, we may do this after we go clear the creepers. So now we can get up to here. We can run half slab 
on all of this uh, to prevent it from spawning anymore. And, you know, with the glass, I'm not too worried about being attacked. We're going to be in a, a nice, bright, safe space. So no problems there. But any spawns are going to keep the cap down, I would imagine. So uh, we definitely want to avoid. Now... Is it red or is it... I think it stays red, right? Going with white would just... I mean, it's white inset from below if you're looking up. But we're not going to be inset at all. It's going to be right on that edge. I think it really could be either, but I like the orange frame on the the red sandstone frame on the other, so let's just go ahead and do that while we're still here. We've got lots of sandstone. Doubt that one. Well, it's two full stacks. It might, might come close. Hey, gives us something to do while the creepers are dropping. So now we can uh, just find more ways to get angry at Haps. Oh, I didn't check the time. I'm probably like way over two hours now just making you guys suffer through the half slab placement. Ooh, we're on the brink, but not quite over yet. We're so close, though. We're already over. By the time I say goodbye, we might as well just... Uh, Take or do. I think we'll not, uh, not resupply with more slabs. We'll just use what we have and leave that as a fun surprise project for future too. So this is, you know, this will probably be the last that I I describe as a dark room spawner built. The spawner's done. It's it's working. We got creepers. We got gunpowder in good supply now. No longer an issue. We're not drowning in it, but uh, we don't have to go hunting for desert temples to find it either. So that'll make flight uh, just you know constant and. I'll try not to do that <laughs> too much because I do I do feel it it takes away just a little bit don't hate me for saying that but you know there's there's so much great content um, that you, you just knowingly are kind of cutting yourself out of the loop on when uh, when you fly everywhere. You don't see anything in the rest of the, you know, the air is pretty unhappening place. Alright, there's a uh, axe done. Oh, I guess we can get this pick just a little bit. It's probably got enough already queued up there. Yep. <gasps> I went too close. That's what you gotta, you gotta not get to, uh, too comfy up there, because even look at their feet, sometimes they'll just see through a little gap. I was looking at the pick too. It's not when you're, uh, it's not when you're looking at everything that you're working on. All right, we were really pretty close. Switch that back. And yeah, when you're repairing like that, no, uh, no totem in your hand either. All right, all tools are repaired. Put you back. Let's put put you back. 
and apologize for going over just a bit here, guys. But uh, hey, we finished the pro project. Okay, now load up on all the gunpowder. And we should have about as much again over here. So yeah, I'd say our uh, our gunpowder shortage is at an end. Um, oh, this was the don't bother me box. We can take the random odds and ends. Uh, I will leave six of those in case we end up needing to make anvils. Uh, the rest can come back. I mean, that's a lot of iron. We're not just going to leave all that sitting up here. Um, let's bring back half the chests. Because I don't, I don't think we're ever going to need a bunch of chest storage. Um, we can hold on to these. Again, I'm sorry. I know I'm... Now, I'm... Uh, kind of just trolling the time. But... that sizzle, man. <laughs> no, it's all about safety again. Gotta get everybody safe. And at least some of these torches up. I don't know that we can just pop everything, but uh, you know, something like that we can get. I don't know why they make that little blah, 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 blah noise. So it'll be pains. Pains in all these. Oh, that's one I don't know. All right, down this middle. If we do one there. Yeah, that'll... Keep us good. Those two should cover that one. Two on those sides. Only one way to really know. So we're looking at client light. Uh, it's in the second paragraph on the left-hand side, about five rows down or so. And if you look at the chunk at the wrong time, you get uh, very concerned very quickly. So I think at least right now we're good, but if we drop those out... Oh, it still looks pretty good all around. Anything over here? A uh, nine? What can spawn at a nine? Anything? Stop your little tap dance sound. So yeah, it, it does actually work. <laughs> and uh, like I said with the... Uh, oh, I don't think we need those anymore, right? I mean, that's pretty well torch covered. Can't imagine that that... Uh, oh, oh, no, that's chunks. Oh, man. 
I don't know what that number in chunk means, but uh, when you see it going down to like 7, 8, and you're trying to look at light levels, that's a bad, bad time. But yeah, nothing, nothing below 10. We just had that one spot. Or is it right here? That was a 9? Maybe that was a... Yeah, that was a chunk too. Ooh, that, that does it. So we got, in this central hallway, maybe we'll have to hang some lights or something to keep that looking good. Ooh, what about this corner? I think that should be okay. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, this also has a ender chest, which we don't need here. And those do give off a light, but we are... Well, well lit all around here. All right, I think light is no longer a factor. Oh, we needed uh, however many more. What did we start right there? Three, four, five, six, like a dozen. Smooth red. Whoa. Okay. Oh, now we can do this. Still gonna be a pain. There. You two. Go back. That should do that. Let's leave everything out, just in case I miscounted. But yeah, if I'd been smart, I would have, uh... just left the ones over by the glass <laughs> kind of like the uh the chest right then if anything spawns hey how often does that happen perfect how don't you sizzle okay you can go back in your box you two can get picked up go back in the box Kinda, kinda mean it now, and I say I think we're uh, we're done. I kinda looks like we're getting done with night. Maybe we, since now we're long anyway, maybe we just keep. Harvest in here for a bit, uh, not try to deal with uh, mobs all over back home. Um, anything else we should be doing here? Again, we're not going to light the portal until we've got it set up. We did get its coordinates. We need a bunch of glass, a little more lighting, an extra bed to put up here, some sand and a cactus for trash, but we aren't going to get that much trash up here. Um, an enchanting set. Grindstone.
yep it, it, <laughs> we're we're pretty well done i'm i'm yawning here too it's uh it's late evening i uh i do hope you enjoy these when they come up though and uh please feel free to leave a comment like uh again i'm I'm really curious, and what I've said from the very beginning in terms of Minecraft is I'd like to, uh, you know, have that, that connection with other players, other people that enjoy the game and enjoy creating in it, and particularly in, in hardcore vanilla worlds. What are you, what can you do with a common tool set, you know, where things aren't just made for you? So if you got any, uh, any favorites or, or things that you've done, Love to uh, love to see if you got some videos up or something too. So feel free to uh, to link back and uh, take a peek. But, uh, all right, I think this is gonna kind of do us. Uh, oh, what are we gonna do for our screenshot? Um, all right, it's working. It's working well enough, right? We don't... Oh, we do need just a few, though, for the... Do we even need it for the class? We'll put some back up if we need it. Oh, and of course, now we need enough to uh, get back up and pick up the dumb scaffold. Scaffold. Who needs scaffold? Is the luckiest scaffold. Nope. Oh, now we have a hole in the glass. Well, that's... I think that'll probably stay, maybe to our detriment. I don't know if things can come through. I don't know that that's going to show enough. And Oh, man. Maybe we should do it like this. What do you think? Is it the pattern? Or is it the creepers in the bottom? Are you kidding me? Oh! <gasps> I guess it's going to be from a boat. And we'll take the boat on the way back home because we need to get, uh, get restocked here. Uh, out to a corner. Oh, yeah, that's getting better. You got the right idea, Dolphin. Oh, that stupid scaffolding up high. Oh, man. But that's good. I need that, apparently. And we need a sword. We don't need a scaffolding up there. All right. There's our big, beautiful screenshot. We're going to head for home so we remember. And with that, folks... Uh, we're going to get out of here. i taking taken too much of your time, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been a pleasure rather than a pain. Um, and again, uh, three videos there. If, uh, you know, if you've gotten this far, you now know, uh, you're now certified to try to build your own dark room spawner in hardcore Minecraft. Um, if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, we'll wrap up some of the cosmetic stuff back around, uh, around the base of that and what i had noticed when i fell off i uh, didn't mention to anybody is the uh i didn't put the red sandstone trim around the top layer after we put in all the dirt and everything so we definitely need to go back up and do that uh it shouldn't be a problem that's why it's all made to be accessible again with the scaffolding so uh we'll go up finish up that last little bit of cosmetic um and 
knowing that we're doing that, we can just do slabs, on, half slabs on that as well, get rid of all those torches, and have it look awesome. So, why am I starting soon when we want to thank you? I know I had that thank you slide out of the way. I checked the time a million times. But we've now gone a full 18 minutes over the top, and that's too much time for you guys to have to uh, spend entertaining me as you have been. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves, though, and make sure if you're watching these videos in order or, uh, or playing a bunch of video games yourself, make sure to give yourselves a break. Um, step away from the screen. Uh, give your eyes some downtime and give your body some exercise. It would uh, it would appreciate just a nice, easy stroll out around the outdoors. Uh, but that's enough for me. Um, we'll see you next time. Keep awesome, and bye now.